what is do you think the normal reaction of the person you're hitting going to be? Oh, they're going to step back. Uh, I mean, immediately. So, well, excuse me. No, excuse um, me. We make this transition. All right, we come up and we get this strike. All right. They may defend. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's actually what we're going to go to next. <coughs> um, go ahead and step aside a little bit. Right. So we've come up, we struck. We're going to follow through. We're not going to stop dead on our target. Oh, okay. We're going to follow through, and then we're going to take them out across the shins. Straight down into it. Yeah. We want to come, if I'm using you, you're, I'm coming this way, shoulder to opposite hip. This brings me to here, which lets me come across the legs. So which, which side of the head are you aiming for? Whichever gets in the way? Yes, whichever gets in the way. Um, in the Filipino martial arts, we call this line angle one. It's the very first strike that humans are evolved to make. It's the caveman strike. Ninety percent of the time, if I pick up a weapon, or anybody picks up a weapon, this is their first strike. So it's angle one. Slow down. All right, can you, and I don't know how bad your knees are, can you squat a little bit? A little bit. All right, because ideally we're not leaning forward to hit our target. Ideally, Drop. But if your knees are such that that gives you problems, the lower the lower you can get, the better this is. The better that strike's going to be. This is actually a hip issue for me. Okay. Squatting. Hip and knee. Right. There you go. Hold on a second, I want to check my positioning. <laughs> Just check your form. I don't want to hit you in the leg unless I'm uh, dead on. Alright, I'm noticing something with, with you and this might help. So we come up, we strike. Instead of staying here, okay, as this hits, you step back. Let's see if that'll work for you. Okay. All we're doing is as we strike, we just slide that foot back. It seems kind of like the opposite of wanting to step forward and drive your weight into it, but if you notice as you move forward, you're dropping your weight on what becomes your front leg, and then it gives you more when you swing, and you don't have to get as low. All right, as you come down, Step back with it. There you go. Think like it's a sword and you're trying to cut through. There you go. Ah. Worse. Still lifted it, didn't I? It's all right. I, I mean, nothing. We strive for perfection when we're practicing, but the reality is nothing's ever going to be perfect. 
the energy is going to be different, the aggression is going to be different. You're going to have to constantly be making changes of what you're doing next. And the terrain is going to be different. Everything changes. So we try to get as close as we can to perfection while we're training, but we don't overstress it because, well, shit happens. I noticed. Easy thing to do. Let's see. Just breathe. Just go. Breathe out every time you strike. Like a boxer, you know. You, you see boxers training every time they're in the bag. Right? Same thing. Um, close range. So first thing we're gonna first thing we're gonna look at is a movement that's called a, a knife jab. Usually it's gonna come from a fixed bladed movement. We're just gonna immediately draw it and then we're gonna extend it straight out. That's exactly it. So we draw and we pop it right out at our target. And we're throwing it up at their eyes. We're not, <coughs> we're not trying to stab deep through their skull. We are literally trying to flick their eye. <laughs> How many times have you rolled over in bed and caught the corner of the pillowcase in your eye? A couple. Yeah, it sucks, doesn't yeah. it? Now, imagine it being a piece of steel. That's what we're doing. All right? We're just going, boom, out of that drill. So we have a drill that we call rotary pick. This teaches us This teaches us the knife jab, and it teaches us to a slap down parry to the knife jab. Now that parry can be used against all sorts of things, but before we get into the knife, this is all it is. This is all we're doing. Picture a boxer on a speed bag. Right, right. So now, pick a knife up. When we are bringing the knife up, we want the knife like so. We're going to come up and we're going to cam it. And the reason we want to put it flat against our body is so that we don't cut ourselves. All right? Because it would really say, go, oh. <laughs> yeah, here, I'm, I'm, I'm bleeding to death. Let, yeah. me get your eye. Let me do your job for you. All right? So what's going to happen is you're going to extend the knife jab at me. All right? I'm going to slap it down just like this. And the hand shouldn't be hard. The hand should feel like a, visualize your hand as a wet dish towel, okay? Don't see grip. This will get your hand blown. This will just blow, especially if you're doing this with any force. That's just going to blow right through my thumb, no matter how strong I am. We don't want that. So, like this. I'm just going to knock it down. I'm going to feed this to you, and you're going to knock it down. Right. Bring it up. Remember to roll, pull it up your chest flat until you extend it. There you go. Just relax. This is not a power drill. Normally, and you see I'm pointing at your chest, this is just for safety. If I were actually doing this, I'd be pointing at your face. And this hand. Keep that thumb in because we don't want it to extend. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that kind of stuff later, but especially for this, which is it, it's a very quick reactionary thing because if you are stabbing at me, stabbing, this is what we're going with. You. We're going for that boom to get off the line. But the drill, we just Building the skill, we're building the flow, we're learning to get our hand relaxed. Let your fingers feel how, when I encounter your hand, how my hand just drapes over your hand. Mm -hmm. and what's great about this 
is I can clear it. Alright? If my hand is just like this, it's just going to slide off. So we get that secret. We just get this nice, relaxed hand. Yeah, there we go. There we go. This is called rotary tape. And the, some of the things we can do in rotary tape is we can clear. Alright, your hook. Mm -hmm. um, and the easiest way to picture this, this is called palace soot. Okay, it's just called palace soot. And it's like uh, driving a big bus. This one. Okay. Real simple. So, that rotary tape. Thanks very much. Don't need, don't need a ton of strength for forward and just. Alright, so you are approaching me with a knife, with something, all right? And I, I have enough cognizance that this is going on. You're reaching out to me to grab me. I want to be able to move this down, and I'm moving offline so that I'm not in the way of that blade. I mean, I can put mine. And again, vision, whatever, but you always end up cutting what's closest to you. So what's closest to me at that point is the ability to affect your breathing. So boom, I've got that. Then I might come across your eyes in a delay. There's all sorts of things you can do, but we'll get there. So back with the trainers, let's just get this flow going. There we go. Nice. Now we're not just going to stand here. We're going to walk. We're just going to turn in a circle. Get used to move. There you go. Okay. Change the direction up a little bit. Get you moving around. Now, I'm going to teach you the next part of this drill. You got this. It's easy, right? Okay. And you can kind of see how it goes, right? Yeah. Now this is only one line. Now we want to clear that. So instead of taking it down, we're going to lift up. And I'm going to come here. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. So let's do, let's do our drill. All right. We're blocking, we're blocking, we're blocking. I'm bored of this. I'm going to lift you up. I'm going to stab you there. And I'm going to feed you again. <laughs> You do the same to me. Alright. This is going to be awful slow. It's fine. We'll take it as slow as we want. Get that. There we go. Now we just feed back up to here. Don't worry about the pedal slip right now. All we're doing is we're popping that elbow up. There you go. Uh, it's okay. Just, just, just keep going. Yes, exactly. Keep going. There is no... Alright, don't... What, you're, you're, you're just bringing your knife back to here, okay? Uh -huh. Don't do that. Bring it up. All right? Okay. And the, the reason we're doing it, the reason we're focusing on that is because it is coming out of a draw. So this is the draw. If all we do is bring it here, which we could come to here, but that's after you've got the knife. Um, and if you've got a folding knife and you're, you're coming at me, all I'm going to do, or, or you know, just like a forward, uh, a forward grip kind of prison shank at the stomach sort of thing, this still applies. Because go ahead, come stab me in the stomach. I'm going to slap that out of the way and move. And I'm going to try to get into a two-on-one position where I've got control of that arm. And then maybe I can strip the weapon, bite you until you let it go, do whatever, then access my weapon. So we're just focusing on this line as though it was a draw stroke. And we're developing this energy and this sensitivity and the coordination to start dealing with a knife 
coming at us from different angles and different approaches. There you go. And once you've gotten that stab, you just come right back to it. Up. There you go. Up the center. Up the center. Up. Straight out. There you go. There you go. All right. So you are approaching me with a knife, with something. All right, and I, I have enough cognizance that this is going on. You're reaching out to me to grab me. I want to be able to move this down, and I'm moving offline so that I'm not in the way of that blade. I mean, I can put mine. And again, vision, whatever, but you always end up cutting what's closest to you. So what's closest to me at that point is the ability to affect your breathing. So boom, I've got that. And I might come across your eyes in the leg. There's all sorts of things you can do, but we'll get there. So back with the trainers. Let's just get this flow going. There we go. Nice. Now we're not just going to stand here. We're going to walk. We're just going to turn in a circle. We're going to get used to moving. Okay, change the direction up a little bit. Get you moving around. Now, I'm going to teach you the next part of this drill. Because you got this. It's easy, right? Okay. And you can kind of see how it goes, right? Yeah. Now, this is only one line. Now, we want to clear that. So, instead of taking it down, we're going to lift up. And I'm going to come here. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. So, let's do, let's do our drill. All right. We're blocking, we're blocking, we're blocking. I'm bored of this. I'm going to lift you up. I'm going to stab you there. And I'm going to feed you again. <laughs> and you do the same to me. All right, this is gonna be awful slow. It's fine, we'll take it as slow as we want. Get that, there we go. Now we just feed back up to here. Don't worry about the pedal slip right now. All we're doing is we're popping that elbow up. There you go. Uh, it's okay, you just, you just keep going. Yes, exactly, keep going. There is no, all right, don't, what you, you, you're, you're just bringing your knife back to here, okay? Uh -huh. Don't do that. Bring it up, all right? Okay. And the, the reason we're doing it, the reason we're focusing on that is because it is coming out of a draw. So this is the, the draw. If all we do is bring it here, which we could come here, but that's after you've gotten the knife. Um, and if you've got a folding knife and you're, you're coming at me, all I'm going to do, or, or you know, just like a forward, uh, a forward grip kind of prison shank at the stomach sort of thing, this still applies. Because go ahead, come stab me in the stomach. I'm going to slap that out of the way and move. And I'm going to try to get into a two-on-one position where I've got control of that arm. And then maybe I can strip the weapon, bite you until you let it go, do whatever, then access my weapon. So we're just focusing on this line as though it was a draw stroke. And we're developing this energy and this sensitivity and the coordination to start dealing with a knife coming at us from different angles and different approaches. There you go. And once you've gotten that stab, you just come right back to it. Up. There you go. Up the center. Up the center. Up. 
there you go. There you go. I mean, it is. It's coming from a draw up. Real easy to want to go fast with this stuff. It feels good when you go fast. But so just relax. Don't worry about power. Don't worry about speed. Focus on getting that point of the knife at my chest. Get that articulation going. Here's the thing, um, tension in your arm with a knife slows you down. Um, just from a purely mechanical standpoint, you have muscles that extend, you have muscles that retract, you have muscles that rotate. So it's still extension and interaction, right. but the joint rotates. You have uh, agonist muscles and antagonist muscles. If you are tense, your antagonist muscles are working against your agonist muscles. So the muscles you use to extend are fighting against the muscles you use to retract. So that slows you down. So the other thing is if we are so committed to a line that we're bearing all of our force into that line, we start running into all sorts of issues. Um, the ability to, uh, here, I'm going to stab. Go ahead and check that, all right? If, uh, if it's small, this, you're in this position, you have very little reaction other than we're fighting, okay? You're, you're preventing this. And if I get too hung up on this, monkey trap it's strength against strength but instead as soon as i find that resistance right i give it a push you give me a solid push back i just change my direction i flow with it i go to i move to zero pressure so we're always trying to move to zero pressure or we're both getting practice doing this so that's awesome that's way better than me just sitting here going i stab we block one, two, three, four, you know, that, that wastes both our time. Only one person is getting to work on it, and one person is getting to practice on it. Now, not only are we practicing this knife jab, we're also practicing a parry. And we're practicing a clear line. We're practicing all of this in a simple little rotary picture. And whether I have a knife, or I have uh, a, a pencil. Keep going. John Wick. Yeah, I'm John Wick. Your butt. Um, that flashlight in your pocket. Uh, my cell phone. I could use my cell phone, and something's coming at me, and I can bam. I can hit that, and like I said, we're practicing here for safety, but combatively. I'm going to hit you in the face. <clears throat> Empty-handed, I might not even go for a big punch, because punching people in the face, bad for the hands. Yeah. Remember what I said about the eyes? Yeah. I'll likely slap it and just bring those fingers right across the eyes. So, this is what I mean by the arts are conceptual. We take something simple like this, that has natural gross motor movement. It's easy to do on the ship. And we learn to apply it in all sorts of different situations with different things. And <clears throat> if, uh, let's, let's again use Taekwondo, um, 
if you are punching at me, all right, and I do a outside block, all right, and then, you know, punch, that's for one technique, all right? But now, with what we're doing here, you punch at me, same thing. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing it a lot. Um, but it's this, it's, so this is the motion. This is what we've learned. But we've covered so much out of just this. And then you can start taking it to where you're using both hands. Alright? I could, alright, you're feeding it me, I could come here and strike with this and then switch. Um, and we'll also, uh, this is part of a larger set. This is just the first part of this deal. Um, the next part we go into is passing the corners. So this is for this line, okay? But what if it's coming at you from this line? Eh, ah, watch this. Give me that. It's going to pass it here. Um, you see, watch out as you feed that. So, you feed me now. I push that out of the way. I feed you. Go ahead. There you go. 